Hey guys, uh, just following on with what, you know, Cam Guy has, he's doing a little scripting series tutorial thingy, but in my channel, I'm going to be trying to show you more of the modeling aspect of things in the developer world, I'm going to give you like tips and tricks on ways you could do stuff and how to make your games look better and, you know, little info and stuff like that. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys like the basics of terrain. A lot of people like disregard terrain and just throw random parts on their maps and stuff like that. But things like this, this is essential to your game because it adds more to it. Like, let me show you all examples and stuff. So like, right here, you see these mountains? You can make some really cool, like, border borders or whatever you want to call it. Excuse, excuse my English because I'm not, you know, the best by any means. But... You know, looking at the dirt right here as well, too, they look really cool when you, like, pile it on top of each other. You can make cool paths and stuff like that, you know? So, I'm going to be showing you guys the easy ways of making stuff like this, you know? It's really essential for your game, and I think it'll look, it'll make your maps and your games look a lot better, from my experience. So, we're going to be starting with something like this. Obviously, I'm not going to show you, like, every single thing but I'm gonna give you the basics and enough for you to go ahead and make something like this for yourself so this is more so uh, targeted towards advanced modelers people who know what they're doing so first you're gonna want to open blender it doesn't matter what version you use but I'm gonna be using 2.8 well 2.9 I'm pretty sure for this so when you spawn in you're gonna have this default cube right here if you don't know already, you can press A or double double tap A in 2.9 and press delete, X on your keyboard to delete. And to have something like this, you could see it's more so of a cylinder with a lot of sides and stuff. So load in your cylinder, shift A, click on the cylinder. And then down here, you see add cylinder. You're gonna wanna open that and then change the vertices to like 12 or 18. So when you have this, it's pretty basic and stuff, you know, that's that's pretty much it. Just SV to scale it on the Z axis. You want to bring it down like this. And then to make the top part, since you already have the bottom right here, Shift D, let go of it, SV, GZ to bring it up, scale it out, SZ, GZ, and then just position it. And then, you know, play around with it, you know, have fun with it, and then you got your little mesh part border part whatever you want to call it and then to s like make it smooth and make it you know look a lot cleaner to remove the lines and stuff click on face select w on your keyboard shade smooth come down right here to like this upside down triangle thingy hit this normal tab and hit auto smooth and that should get rid of like the lines and stuff you're gonna see these little lines but that's okay that's not you're not really worried about that so now since you have like a join mesh what you want to do is you want to hit L on one of them see how I have it selected I'm using G to like grab it and move it around you want to you want to press P on your keyboard and hit selection so what I just did is I just from I parented the top part from the bottom so which means I have this top part by itself it's not attached to this part at all you know what I mean but you know this tutorial is not targeted towards people who are like completely new but I hope you know the basics and you can navigate around blender and stuff like that but once you have this right here to import it file export wavefront obj you want to export it anywhere you want to click on mesh whatever and make sure you have selection only on that's that's really important and then export obj see there's there's a couple of ways you could go around doing this you could have like the bottom part by itself and then scale it and suit it I'll, I'll go ahead and show you so add a mesh part by adding insert object type in mesh part or what you can do is you can click on this little plus in workspace come down here and you see mesh part 
So this it will spawn at the origin, which which is zero one zero. So what you want to do is you want to click on this little file thingy right here. Look for your mesh, and then whatever you want. If it's if what you're trying to do is you want to import the top of the the little border thingy, then you want to hit yes. But if not, just hit no. So we're gonna give it a second to load, and once it loads up, you're gonna have this little mesh right here. So what I was talking about previously is you could legit just scale this up, right? Like that. Since you have more control, you can color this like brown or whatever you want. And then grab this, duplicate it, bring it up like this. Scale it out by holding shift. And just make this green. And boom. You got your little border right there and that's that's pretty much how you make it you know it's pretty easy it makes your map look cool and stuff like that so here's a quick little ex uh, example map I made with the borders and stuff you have the thingies like lined up with the little mountains at the back and stuff like that it looks really cool but yeah I think it really enhances your map and stuff like that it makes it look a lot neater and more vibrant and stuff like that colorful you know but yeah, so that's that's pretty much one of the terrain parts I use a lot. And then to make these mountains, I'm going to go ahead and show you. So what you want to do now, so I'm going to go ahead and restart this. So this, actually, you can't do like by hand and add a mesh and stuff like that, right? It's called landscape. It's right here. So the way to have this in your blender is you want to go to edit, preferences, so we're going to see all of these tabs right here. You're going to be like, oh my god, what is this? You want to click on add-on. That's what we're more so targeted towards, right? So in this search bar, we're going to type in land, landscape. And we're going to see ANT landscape. You want to click on this little check mark right here. Make sure it's checked. And then if you want, it'll say save like down there. And you save it and you have it. So once you do that, shift A to add mesh. On mesh, you come all the way down here, and you're going to see the little landscape down here. So once you have that, you know, it looks kind of, eh, I wouldn't want this in, in my game, you know? It doesn't look appealing or anything, so what you want to do is you want to hit this little arrow right here, and it brings up all of these random settings. You're like, oh my god, what is this, bro? <laughs> I can't navigate through this. So what you want to do is you want to focus more so on the subdivision so if you have 128 it's gonna look like this in edit mode and you, you do not want this so because you don't want like the large amounts of meshes and stuff in your game because this is like it'll ruin your performance it's it's more so better to optimize your game and make it look a lot cleaner with more low poly objects so we're gonna hit landscape we're gonna come over to subdivision x and Y and we're gonna make this like 64 just just to bring it down a bit and once you have that it looks it still doesn't look like this right it doesn't have the spikes and cool stuff so once you have that go over here shade smooth and now once you add your normals it'll start to take some shape it kind of looks like it but not really so if you want it to look more so like this what you want to do is you want to go over to the ranch, which is the modifier. Click on add modifier. Then what you want to do is you want to look for decimate, which is right here. Hit decimate. And then on the ratio, just bring that down. All the way down, like right there. Boom. Scale it on the z-axis. Boom. You got your little mountain right there. It takes like two seconds to make, honestly. And I think it looks a lot... I showed y'all in this map. It looks really cool when you have it as like your borders and stuff. In my opinion. But yeah. So now that we covered. Let's go ahead and import it real quick. So now that we covered the landscape. And we covered the little uh, uh, cylinder thingy. So hold on. We forgot one thing. Export OBJ. Selection only. Alright. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and add it on over here we're gonna click the plus mesh part the little file thingy right here no 
And once you have it, you can scale it with the shift, holding shift, and boom. You can turn off uh, cat shadows if you don't want the little shadows and stuff. And then you could color it, make it look really cool, stuff like that. And I'm not, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. I, I don't wanna like diss this uh, whole series and stuff. I wanna go through with it, obviously. I wanna make sure you guys know as much as I do, but I'm not the best speaker because I'm not American. You know, I'm not the best at English by any means, but I do know some stuff. And I'm gonna try my best to like pronounce things the right way and stuff like that. But once we have these two, I hope you kind of learn how to do them and follow it along with me we're gonna do something like the dirt so things like this this is more so targeted for beginner people if you if you understand the basics of this you can make stuff like this and it, it looks really cool and then stuff like this this is like m for more so advanced people and you could make maps like like this and it looks really really cool with like the borders and stuff it has rocks really really neat in my opinion but yeah so once you have that right so now we're gonna want to make the dirt so you're gonna be like oh dirt really do we need that in our game yeah it looks really cool I showed y'all right here have the little dirt piles right here right here snow covered areas it looks really cool so if you want to make dirt it it's like two seconds what you want to do is you want to shift a add plane scale it all the way out tab to go into edit mode so i'm not sure if in 2.9 you can hit spacebar and type in like search whatever you want if that's not the case what you want to do is you want to subdivide this like a ton of times and then i'll, I'll show you guys what i mean right so if you do have the little search thingy in 2.9, what you want to do is add subdivision, right? Just like that. And if that doesn't work for you, do control E, subdivide. Just continue doing it like 500 million times to this amount, right? So once you have that, you know, you got a boring plane. Nothing really looks like dirt or anything. What you want to do is you want to go back into edit mode, go on vert select, which is right here, the little thing. You're going to see these dots and stuff like that, right? And you want to hit O on your keyboard to go into the this little thingy right here, right? So once you have that, it's going to look really small when you scale it up. But what you want to do is you want to use your scroll wheel and do that. And then use G and grab. To move it up this so now it looks kind of like grass but it, you have all of these little squares on your thingy right here and you don't want that at all so what you want to do is you want to shade smooth normal at normal once you have that it looks a lot cooler so i'm gonna go back into vert select and i'm gonna go ahead and play around with this So once we have our little dirt pile right here, if you want, it's always optional, but if you look at the bo the bottom of the mesh, it kind of looks, eh, it looks flat, kind of. So we're going to go on modifier, we're going to go on solidify, and this allows us to like give our mesh more or so of a thickness, so kind of like that, alright? So you have this little thick brick right there. But for the sake of this whole series, I'm just going to record it. And then we're going to go ahead and grab this. No. And boom. We got our little dirt pile. Scale it down like that. And boom. So in game, you could play around with it. You know, you could scale it like so. You could make it look cool. You put make it white it looks like snow and stuff like that so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what we learned today we learned how to make mountains kind of like this 
then we learned how to make the little cylinder border thingy and we learned how to make like dirt piles and snow piles uh, I hope you guys find found this uh, little short tutorial kind of useful uh, same thing applies if you're using blender 2.9 I know a lot of you guys kind of possibly do I'm not too sure but if you do it's pretty much the same exact process the same exact step solidify uh, for user preferences you go into file and then you're gonna see user preference right here when you have this it's gonna the add-on thing is gonna be right at the top and the search bar is gonna be right at the far left it's gonna type in landscape and you're gonna hit, wanna hit the check just like in 2.9 so yeah again I hope you guys find this very useful I'm gonna try to like keep up and make more tutorials like this uh, y'all should go ahead and check out camguy11 he makes scripting tutorials you guys will most likely find that very useful as well. Uh, next tutorial, I'm going to try to make like, trees and rocks and stuff like that. You know, different kinds of poly trees. Uh, again, hope you guys found this useful. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial and series. Goodbye.